Hello and welcome back to Prompt Circle where we discuss AI use cases for real world applications. I want to wish everyone a happy new year and I hope you had a wonderful celebration. Welcome to 2024. I'm really pumped. There's so many exciting new things to talk about in 2024. I think 2024 is going to be the year that we actually go ahead and implement all these awesome AI capabilities that we've seen. And I think assistants represent one of the best ways, the fastest ways to get an AI um, or large language model powered application into your production um, applications. Now, in today's video, we're going to be looking at something that is really key. Um, I think most of these assistants are going to need to do some sort of research one way or the other to augment some of the tasks that you're going to be doing. So research assistants are very, very key. So I'm going to be showing you how you can build a very quick research assistant right inside Slack using OpenAI assistants, uh, but we're going to be doing this a little bit differently from the way we did it in the previous videos where we used the low-level APIs. We're going to be using Langchain and we're going to be using Tavili. Now, Tavili is a research assistant um, platform which is built on large language models. Um, essentially, it does the perf perform search and returns the information in a great format that the large language model can use to provide you with responses. So you can go into tavali.com. Um, so you can go to app.tavali.com. And if you go into their research assistant, you can actually test this out. So for instance, I could say, I can ask questions like, you know, what are the top trends predicted? for generative AI in 2024. Now, this is a, a research task. Uh, as you can see, it's initiating this custom research assistant. And this research agent is going ahead and looking online, uh, looking at different um, sources and coming up with responses. They also provide images, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, it's also able to go in and um, bring you the results. Now, this is them building out um, how to use your API. But the key thing here is really using their own API uh, to make this happen. Now, the documentation is here as well to just show you exactly how their API works. Um, you can see like, you know, some of the kind of key things, basically they do a search, they return the response, I think typically in JSON, and they have both a Python SDK that you can use directly. But today we're going to be looking at how to use this in Langchain, because I think Langchain uh, represents a very easy and sustainable way to use, um, uh, to build LLM applications. Uh, most of the things are abstracted away from you and you would see that in just a few steps we can build out um, our application here. So to build an application, um, we're going to be building it inside Slack and I'm going to show you exactly how you can go about building it. So this was our result, by the way, uh, it's still going. Uh, so it's a very, very comprehensive research uh, report and you can see it's um, sourcing from different sources, VentureBeat, Tech Target, and so on and so forth. As you can see, there's so much um, you know, information coming from different places now. All right, so let's jump in and see how to build this because it's pretty easy to build out. So let's jump into VS Code. Um, now, before we jump into VS Code, actually, uh, by the way, you need to get your API key from Tavili. Um, they are offering a very generous uh, free tier. I think it is 1,000 requests uh, per month. Uh, on this tier, if you go into their pricing, you can see more information. So go ahead and generate an API key, copy that API key and put that in your environment variables as I have here and your application should be ready to go. Now I'm going to drop this into a GitHub repo so you can follow along. So, you know, feel free to kind of uh, go into the description, pick up the GitHub, GitHub repo and you can run this uh, directly from there. So there are a few things that we're going to be doing. We're going to import our typical Slack application to Tool. So we're using Slack Bolt here. So we're importing Slack Bolt. Um, so to install this, I'm going to put a link in the description of all the libraries that you need to install. So you need to install Slack Bolt and pretty much you need to install Langchain. And, and I think that's pretty much all the stuff that you really need to install here to make this happen. Now, on the Slack side, we're using the socket mode handler. We typically use this just whenever we're doing things. Um, 
um, locally in our system and we don't want to kind of create a web server we open a web socket uh, to the application so we're using socket mode um, and then on the line chain side we need a few things now first thing we need is an open AI assistant runnable now the open AI assistant runnable just simply allows us to create open AI assistants as well as run them as well as invoke them so this is um, a way to kind of simplify you know what I showed in the previous videos with regards to creating assistance. So rather than doing it with the low-level APIs, you can do it directly with this open AI assistant runnable class. And I'll show you exactly how to use them. Now we're gonna be doing something because with Langchain, you can use your open AI assistance in two ways. Now you can use it sort of vanilla, um, the way uh, OpenAI has created it and provided with tools and things like that. But I think in line chain it gives you a little bit more power because you can pair line chain tools with um, your your OpenAI assistant. And line chain has not a, a lot of tools that you can use, which makes it uh, you know which makes your assistant very very powerful. So I think this is the way I'm going to be building assistants moving forward, just because this gives me access to a ton of tools. One of those tools we're going to be looking at today with regards to Tavily and their search tool. But if you go into the uh, line chain um, tool tools list, uh, if we can go to line chain tools, you would see they have a lot of tools that you can work with. They even have some toolkits. You can also define your own custom tools as well. So if you go in there, you're going to see search tools, a Wikipedia API tool, so many really awesome tools that they have and you can go into built-in tools and see some of the cool tools that they have here so whatever you might be building it might make sense to pair these tools with your open ai assistance because what line chain essentially is doing is converting the tools that you have here into the open ai function calling tool um, very very cleanly i think that's something that they're doing and they're abstracting so many uh, things away from you by doing it this way. So there's so many tools here you can explore, but today we're going to be exploring the Tavity search tool. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Okay, so let's go back into this in, into the code here. Um, as you can see, we're importing our um, agent executor because we're going to be executing um, our assistant as an agent, which basically means that it has access to these uh, tools from Langchain. Uh, we have the agent finish, which just basically ensures that when the agent is finished with the responses is providing you uh, providing the the assistant with the res the final response which it can be which can be used um, moving forward now if you're also familiar with tools we're importing the tools from the community tools um, in line chain and that's where we're bringing the search results and we're also bringing in uh, a search API wrapper which we're using now you need an API key I already have my API key the Tavily API key in my environment variable so you need to set that for you to use this um, you also need your slack bot token because I'm just basically initializing slack here making sure our slack app is working as expected so for the search tool to, to set it up is pretty easy so basically you, you initialize your Tavily search wrapper so as you can see here and then you create a tool so to create a tool, I'm setting my Tavily tool to Tavily search results and I'm passing my API wrapper, re re returning direct and I want my verbos to true so I can see um, the output in my console. Now to, to actually run a very quick search to see exactly how the search tool operates, uh, you can just simply put your request here. So um, I can say something like, you know, what is the Tesla stock price as of today now if i did that and i went to my i printed out my output so if i just basically run this um, it should go and run and get me that response so let's see it's going to do the search and as you can see here it has just run the search and what it's doing basically is just going through different websites and returning the responses that are coming from those websites so at this point in time it's just returning the raw response so you're not really using it for much now the next step is sort of incorporating that into our um, assistant so next up let's go ahead and create an assistant using Langchain um, so right here we have this I can go ahead and comment this out since we've run this 
And now the next thing we want to do here is to create an assistant. So in the open in the line chain uh, style of creating assistants, we are just going to create a function for that. And basically, what we're taking in as attributes would be the name of your function, the instructions that you want to provide to your 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 function, the tools associated with it, a model, and then as agent. So this as agent is ensuring that we're running our assistant as a LangChain agent. So it gives it the ability to convert the tools that LangChain have into OpenAI function tools as well. All right, so when you do that, we're returning our assistant ID. That's part of what we're gonna be using uh, because whenever we create an assistant, we want to be able to also use that assistant uh, moving forward. All right, so let's create an assistant. So assistant, underscore ID because that's what we want to return is equal to create assistant because we're using our assistant tool here uh, function here and here we're going to say we're going to give it a, a name and we're going to call it let's call it just research research um, assistant and in here we're going to tell it you are an intelligent assistant that can help with research on provided topics um, and I can just say return results in markdown or return responses responses in markdown format I should say slack markdown format slack Markdown format. And this is just to make sure that when it's returning responses, it's something that is nice and clean inside Slack since we're going to be using this in our Slack application. Now, in terms of tools, we're going to be using the Tavily tool here. So we had created a tool earlier on uh, called the Tavily tool. Uh, so we're passing that as one of our tools here. So you can see here inside tools, we're passing the Tavily tool. So you can pass your you can either pass like a line chain tool like we're doing right here, or you can pass a custom tool that you have created yourself, or you can just simply use the open AI functions as well. So there are different options that you can use here. Now, in terms of model, we're going to use uh, GPT-4. Um, you can see that um, code pilot is suggesting um, da Vinci uh, probably needs to, to get up, updated a little bit and I think I made a mistake here. Okay, so assist, this is not a good spelling of assistant, assistant. Okay, and then we go as agent, we're gonna set to true uh, because essentially we're saying that we want this to operate as an agent. Now, once we have this, so we we'll just wanna print out my assistant ID here once we're done with it, so print assistant ID. So let's run this very, very quickly just to create our assistant and make sure that our assistant is working. So I'm gonna stop this for a second and I'm gonna go ahead and create the assistant. Now, as you can see, my assistant ID has been created. Now, if we go back into um, OpenAI and go into our assistants, you will see that we now have our research assistant right here. Well, what you're gonna also see, which is interesting, is that it has been, uh, the Tavily search results JSON has been added to it. So when we created, when we added that line chain tool, it got converted into a function, which is what you see here. And this is really what makes it special because if you think about all the stuff you needed to do to create something like this on your own, LangChain has completely abstracted that away from you and makes it much, much easier uh, to work with. That, that is what's most impressive um, about this. All right, so after creating our agent and having it already set up and we have our assistant ID, now we wanna use this assistant ID. Now to initialize um, an existing assistant, all you really need to do is to pass your assistant ID to the OpenAI Assistant Runnable. You also have to pass this as agent and set it to true. And once you do that, you have your assistant. So once I'm executing this function, I do have my assistant ready to go. So I'm storing this as assistant. Now my tools are also stored here. Uh, so I'm using the Tavily tool and that's all I'm using. Now the next thing that is very important is the agent executor function. So this is responsible for running through the entire agent execution. So it's basically designed to facilitate this very complex interaction between an agent and its set of tools. So what it does is that it initiates 
the agent with the input that has been provided, and it iteratively processes the agent's responses. So basically, when, when, when a question comes in and the agent selects a tool that is needed, it takes that tool's output and feeds it back to the agent. So this is very similar to submitting your tool output, which we do have that concept uh, that we shared in the previous video, which I'll put in the direction, talking about how to do function calling using OpenAI um, assistance. And the leap loop basically continues until the agent complete, uh, completes its task. And when it completes this task, the agent finish response is what is returned. And once that is returned, your LLM or your assistant basically provides you with a response. So that's basically what this function is doing. And now once we get that response, that's basically, you know, the response coming from your assistant. Now we want to use that inside Slack. So to use that in Slack, I want to share with you how to do that. So you have a message handler here, uh, which takes in a message. You have your C function to respond back to the user and your ACK to acknowledge the event. Now I have a full tutorial of how to set up Slack applications and I'm going to put it inside the description of this video as well so that if you want to set something up from scratch, you can use that as your reference. Um, and I'm also obviously providing the full code guide inside um, the GitHub repository, which is associated with OpenAI assistance. Now, the next thing we want to do is that once we receive a message, we want to capture that message that we received. We're storing it in this user query variable. And what we do is to basically execute that agent function. And to do this, you need to pass in your assistant. You need to just pass in the tools that you have and the input. And the input here is content, which we're setting to user query, which is the message coming from the user. And here we're printing our AI response out and we're also using the save function from Slack Bolt to provide a response back and we're threading that response. That's essentially what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and try this out by starting this function. Um, so once we get uh, Bolt, um, then we're ready to go. So, all right. So Bolt app is running, which means our app is ready to use. So we can now go into Slack and start asking our questions. So we can ask questions like, you know, what are the top trends for generative AI in 2024? As an example, and basically if we go back in, you're gonna see that first and foremost, our agent is going to go pull that response back. We're printing this event that is coming in. It's going to pull the information back. And once it pulls this information, it's feeding it into the agent and the agent is going to provide that back as a response. And that response is going to be sent uh, to Slack very, very shortly. Now, the reason I use Slack, and I say this a lot in all my videos, the reason I use Slack is because Slack makes it very, very easy for you to put your open AI assistants to work immediately, get them out to users, uh, typically in B2B uh, scenarios, or even in any other scenario where you have a community that are on Slack, you can create these applications and make them available to people without having to worry about UI design and all of those type of things. So I think Slack represents a really, really easy way to get your open AI assistance into the hands of your users. So we can see our response here. It's provided all the responses and we've seen all the links that it's provided. And this is what makes it really, really special is providing the sourcing. Um, I really like this um, tool and I like the way Tavali does this thing they have abstracted away a lot of the tough work that has to do with working with search tools. It's natively built for AI, so I would highly encourage you to sign up uh, for Tavali and try this out. This is a very, very quick research tool that you can deploy in your organization uh, in just a few uh, hours, as you can see. Um, Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you do have any questions or com uh, comments about it, please feel free to drop them um, in the comments. I'll drop all the resources inside the description uh, of this particular video. I'm looking forward to seeing what you build. If you like this type of content and you're interested in getting more uh, videos like this showing how to build um, applications um, using large language models and generative AI and deploying them as quickly as possible into production, um, you know, subscribe to our channel. We do release videos um, on a weekly basis talking about these different uh, capabilities and how to actually build them out. Uh, until next time, have a great one. Cheers.